Hello, this is a uh, second uh, example, so let's call this basic uh, sculpting. Now, what we'll do on the next, uh, uh, let's copy this and uh, let's, let's call this uh, Sculpting with with tenor and interest rates. So what we're going to do is two things. Let's go up to the, you know, perhaps this, just so we remember that we should have done this right here. This was our operations. And FCF, just so you really remember that that's the key structuring of the model. And this is our project IRR. And then we, uh, we really should have computed the equity IR down here. Um, in the very first year, we, we spend a thousand, but we get this back from uh, 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 the bankers, and then we have our CFA ADS. Oh, come on. Oh, man. <sighs> and then we clearly have a very high equity IRR. And what we really should have done is call this, and that's because we have 91% financing, and our project IRR is bigger than our debt IRR. We should have pressed shift Control c to see what uh, our assumptions, and we, and we put our financing in the second part, and we make these bold, okay? And uh, just a minute, I'm going to copy our little bit better sheet. Uh, Okay, so we're back uh, to this one. It's a little bit better. For the interest rate, let's uh, uh, start with the interest rate in the first year as one, but after year four, let's say the interest rate goes to 3.5%. Uh, you can press shift control p and let's put a tenor starting with the COD. Uh, how about when I get uh, 12 years? This should have really said years. We'll, how about we'll put it in years here. All right. And now what we uh, what we need to do is 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 uh, first for this tenor, let's put a repayment switch. Okay, like we normally do, and just, I guess I'll, I'll put this here, just so it's kind of silly, but we, uh, then we make it less than or equal to, and we press the F4 button, as usually on this one, shift Control r shift Control t shift Control f Okay, and uh, now the required debt service we better modify, because we don't have any required debt service after the tenor. So that goes down to zero, and uh, other than a little divide by zero, if oops, if this uh, denominator is greater than 0 0.01, we'll we'll do it like this, and then it gives you false. So. Our equity IRO went down to 14%, interestingly, after we changed all that. Let's press shift Control c to reset our uh, assumptions. Now, we also should uh, modify the... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to freeze the panes because we should... Uh, 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 do this... You know, I'm, do you mind if I... Uh, I don't know if you mind or not. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna change this a little bit. Interest rate. We'll put the year here, 
So let's uh, okay, and then let's put the rate just below that. Here's, we'll see in a minute while we did that. So let's put five percent and then three point five percent in real transactions. It might go up instead of down to encourage refinancing, but uh, you know what. On the other hand, we should have a safer project as we go out, so I'm not going to worry about this debate right now. So why don't we put an interest rate here, okay, and then we put, you know, I'm going to put the interest rate up here, you'll see why, interest Okay, and let's do use the lookup. Okay, and we go to this one. And then, this is why I did it like this, you can just click on the whole rows. Okay, remember, I prefer laziness. I don't prefer any silly rules. I just prefer laziness in Excel. And then we don't ne need this. And we don't need this, so we take this opening balance minus this, uh, oh, come on, it's so goddamn slow. Okay, and then we, uh, 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 that now we have a real problem. We don't have a zero at the end of the debt tenor. In fact, we can put a test here. Uh, and, and you know the test a good way to do this is to use sum if and take the closing balance and no uh, let's put sum if s so we, we do it right uh, take the closing balance and the criteria one will be these true and false and then we'll put false and uh oh the closing balance is positive. It should have been zero uh, at the end. So let's make it equal to zero. Okay. And um, let's see what we have to do to fix this. To fix this, the problem is this NPV calculation is a really simple calculation. And here, here, here's the little trick. You make an a, a interest rate that compounds on itself and remembers the past. Okay, shift control R, shift control one, and then you put some product and you take the uh, required debt service and divide that by the discount factor. That's the same as computing a discount rate, and now we have it, it goes to zero. The only reason this is, is uh, false, this should have been, uh, we need a round. <sighs> okay, and uh, let's put a comma three. Okay, and I think so. That's the tenor and the interest rate, and I think. How about this? I think it, it would be okay to still continue calling this exercise 16 because just got a couple of little uh, complications nothing dramatic and for non-taxable uh, cases where the where you don't bother putting an interest income right uh, it's just about right okay and uh, so let's save that I think I just did save it, okay, and I'm going to stop this video.